Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Rashonda King. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be trying out the crown that I got from Amazon on my backdrop. I have seen this on a lot of different backdrops, so I just want to give it a try myself today. I want to reach out to my channel members and I need to be able to contact you all via email so I can just keep you up to date when I'm doing the lives and I prefer to go live through Zoom. So please email me at custom event creations with a S L L C at gmail.com. Okay, so because I want to at least do the live chat with you all monthly. So as you can see, back to this design, I was struggling to put this crown on. At first, I was just trying to use the zip ties, and it just was not working. So I'm trying to use the zip ties. Look how it's just, it's still falling down. So then I got some S hooks, and I zip tied it to the crossbar. And then I kind of took the crown and moved it like halfway um, back and I hooked it and that gave it like balance and kept it straight. And I did it to both sides and this worked out for me. I don't know if this is the best method, but it did work out for me. This crown does not have where you can slide the curtain in. So I had to actually pin my drape to the crown with Cassage pins. So I just made a pole cover and I'm adding that. I made two of them, one off camera, and I'm just beginning to gather my drapes. So I'm going to try another method with the crown and I would definitely share that with you all um, later on. So I'm keeping the drapes nice and straight in the center. Now I'm about to get ready to get my panel, um, my ivory panel, some swag. With the burgundy, I'm giving it even more swag here. I secure my panels with pipe cleaners. So I'm doing the same thing to this side as well. And then when I move on to the burgundy, I'm gonna give it, um, make it the swag even more deep. I'm making the bottom of my um, panels nice and neat. For my pole covers, I just kind of puddled it. And for that sequin panel, I, I puddled it on the left and the right side. In the center, I'm giving it like a Hershey Kiss shape. And I have a lot of fabric to work with here because these panels are 12 feet long, 16 feet long. So I got a lot of fabric to work with. So for my... um. For that brooch, it was custom made by a jewelry maker. She made it for me. It is so, so beautiful. So I'm just making everything nice and neat. This is how it turned out. I am so, so happy with the outcome. I have another crown that I'm gonna spray paint silver. So I will be doing a princess design or something for like a Sweet 16 or a King Sieta celebration coming up. I believe I'm gonna use pink and silver and white. So just stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until I see you next time, bye.